Okay, for this video, let's do something very different. You know I've solved so many questions for you guys in the past, right? So for this video, I'm not going to solve this one. I will tell you guys the answer though. And I will also read this for you guys. Check this out. Can we find C so that the equations, the first one is a cubic equation. We have x cubed plus c x squared plus 3 is equal to 0. And the second equation is x squared plus c x plus 1 is equal to 0. We want to find a C so that these two equations have a common solution. So we're not just trying to solve for x, you know. This right here is not so bad. Well, it's not so easy, I would say. But maybe to some of you guys, if you have um, like trainings like this before or experience like this before, then um, yeah, you should be able to solve it. So as always, please Continue watch the video and just try it. I will, I will be here with you guys. I will be here with you guys, but like I'm not going to do anything. Maybe I'll solve it another time for you guys, but not this one. Told you already at the beginning of the video, and I'm not solving this right. No, done. Anybody? Did you pause the video? You have to pause the video now, huh? Yeah, I'm not solving it for the first time. Yeah. Okay, I think I've done this before. Like, I just asked you guys a question, but that's, that's yeah, another time maybe. Yeah. Of course, I'm not going to stay here until like, you know, the eight minute mark or the like, 10 minutes or like an hour. No. I think this is enough, right? All right, I'll give you guys the answer though. It's impossible. No, just kidding. It's actually possible. C is equal to negative 10 over 3. How? Well, go ahead and try it. That's it.